Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving. We thought we'd get a small project done before we pack in all that food. Uh, on some of these newer RVs, there's blue lights that they put on these, which aren't very effective at night. We're trying to change that and put in some white LEDs. We got some white LED strip lights. They're the 50-50 size, so 5mm by 5mm, so they should be nice and bright. And there is a channel on these awnings you can just slide it into. Each end is glued. You'll see that on each end, they're glued in so it can't shift. We're going to undo the glue, silicone, slide that out. On this end, they have, they have it wired in, but they have it done with the scotch locks, which are the one-time use plugs where you put the wire and squeeze it and it kind of waterproofs it and everything. But And they got it behind a bunch of like tarry stuff, so we don't want to undo that. So what we're going to do is cut the wire. We're going to put a waterproof plug. We'll show you that here in a minute. A waterproof plug there, so if we ever wanted to change them out again, we could just change the plug, unplug it, take it out again. I think that'd be the most effective and it's got the rubber boot on it so it'll be waterproof also we'll show you that when we get up here uh so with that being said let's get up here and get this job started i'll give you guys a closer look what we're going to use and all the plugs and everything and then we'll get you up here and show you what we're dealing with get it all changed out so let's go all right guys here's a close-up of what we're dealing with here you can see those scotch locks and the wire for the lights go right into these scotch locks and they got all this tar stuff here kind of keeping the water off the top of them what we're going to do, because you have room behind here, because there's another, you can see another scotch lock down there, because I think it ties into the same power as this awning. But we're going to cut the wire here, like just leave ourselves some feet off of here. We're going to tie into this with the plugs we have, and then any excess wire we can put down in here also. And then if we need to, we can just unplug it when we're ready to go and change the light to any color, change the strip out, whatever we want to do to it. But that's going to be the quickest, easiest. And so let's get down here. We'll show you what we're going to use plug-wise. Okay, this is what we're dealing with here for what we're going to use. This is them waterproof plugs I was talking about. You can see the rubber boot on there. Once we put those together, it'll be nice and watertight. And that way we can uh, unplug it when we need to. We're going to use like the solder sticks. You can see those. And then we're going to use heat, marine grade heat shrink tube, which has the adhesive in it. That'll also seal it up. We're going to use our micro torch to do it. And then just a few tools, wire stripper, and then a couple of these. This is going to help us move that uh, glue off the end for the, the light, but that's pretty much all we're going to need. Oh, and a little more silicone. we got some clear silicone to seal the ends of the strip so it doesn't slide after we're done. So that's all we're really going to need for this job. It should be fairly simple and quick, straightforward. So let's get it going. All right, what we're going to do first before we get up there and cut the wires, we're going to put the plug end on our lights. These are the lights we got. They are the 5050s with the black PCB. They do have the sticky back, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to leave that stuff on there. So we're going to put our solder stick connections on here with whatever one we're going to start with first. We'll go with this one. We'll get it soldered on. We're also going to want our heat shrink tube. We're just going to go with white because we're out of the black and red. So we'll put the heat shrink tube on first. Put our piece of, piece of solder stick on there. And a lot of people use like like a little solder iron heat gun or something like that. I'm going to use the micro torch. That's what I normally use when I do this. So I, I frame my ends of the wires a little bit. And then I join the two together. And shove them into one another like that. Give them a, give them a small twist so they hold. Something like that. We'll slide our solder stick over that and we got to get our torch ready this helps if you have a pair of helping hands to help this but i got the camera guy here he's going to try to do both put that down for a second you can hold this end of my plug don't don't pull or nothing we're going to get our we got this heat on low we don't want to burn through it yet or at all <laughs> so we're going to put heat all around that until that solder starts flowing you'll see it start flowing This is fastest way. There it goes. It's starting to flow. You guys can see that. Now we'll work our way up this, up this, get it all sealed down there. The wires on the lights are pretty small, so you're hoping it shrinks tight to that. So there's that one. You can see the solder flew through there. Now we're going to let that one cool a second. We'll slide our heat shrink tube over it, and then we will seal that one off. And then we'll do the same thing to this one that we just did. So let's slide this over. This should be cool enough enough to get this over. Then we'll do this. Remember this that that uh, 
marine grade, so it has the adhesive in it. So we'll start in the middle, work our way to the edge. Remember, this is how we do it. I mean, you could use the heat gun. Seems to take a little longer, but this has always worked for me. This is what I use. Somebody else is working on Thanksgiving. Awesome. I hear it. Once you eat, you're not going to be able to do nothing anyway. So there we go. We got that one heat shrunk on there. And you'll know because the glue will start coming out of the end. That one's ready. We're going to do the exact same thing to this one. Then the wire or the light end will be done. We're going to do this same thing with the female end up on the, up on the light or up on the pole there on the awning. So that's what we're going to do. We'll finish this up. All right. We have our... And nicely put on there. You can see these heat shrink tubes are on there and the glue is coming out of the end to seal them up. So that one's ready to go. We're going to go up there, cut the wires on the old light, pull that out, and then put this female end on the wires that are there using our solder sticks and our heat shrink tube. And then, of course, our micro torch. So we're going to get up there and get that started. All right, right here are the wires coming off of the light strip and, of course, where they got them all jumbled there. So I'm going to cut here. Because the blue lights are still good if you want to use them for another project. So we want to leave enough wire hanging off. Uh, we want to leave enough wire hanging off in case you want to use them. But we also want to have enough here to be able to work with. So we're going to go about there. We trim the lights. They're good. Uh, if you want to, you can unplug your battery so you don't have any issues here. But since we have it off, it shouldn't be a problem. Now we're just going to clean the glue out of this end and pull our light strip out. So let me get this glue cleaned out. might take a while. All right, guys, we got all the glue out of there. It looks like somebody went crazy with a hot glue gun, but we got all the pieces out. As you can see, we're just going to pull it out. There we go. This one had the white PCB, but since it's in a black thing, we just thought the black would be better. This one's, these lights are more stretched out. These aren't the 50-50, so this white one's going to be nice and bright. We'll show you that later tonight, how that looks, but we're going to get our other one to slide it in there. All right, we got our length mark that we're going to need. And what's cool about these light strips, in case you guys aren't familiar with them, you'll see a little thing on there, two copper pieces, and it looks like scissors. You can cut at any one of those junctions. So that's all we're doing. We're going to cut that off. And you'll have the little copper there, which will be all right, but we're going to silicone the end anyway. Now we can easily side this back into the spot. So let's do that. All right, to make this a little easier to slide this in, we're going to use some lube in here. Just go along. We already start squirting it in there. Just squirt a little bit in here and there all along the way you're going to go. That'll help us drag it in. And then we're going to start, hand this to the camera guy. Then we're going to start our, our wire in here. We're just going to slide it in right through here and keep it sliding and keep working it forward like so. Then it's going pretty good. So we're going to follow that all the way through now and get it to the other end. Then we can wire these up. All right, we got our light in there, fed in there nice. Note to itself, though, we tried to shove it in this way, which was working, but it was taking forever. If you can, leave, pull from this end because you got wires, but don't pull the wire, pull the heat shrink that's on there. It'll help you give something to pull with because the other way was just taking forever. So we pulled it back out and fed it from that end. Worked good. Now we're just going to solder the female end plug onto the wires that come out of the RV, and then we'll just plug the two together. It'll be awesome. So that's what we're going to do now. And then we'll be done with that and we'll show you how that looks. You won't be able to see it too great because it's daytime, but we'll show you at night too. So let me finish getting these soldered on here. Same process as we did on the part on the wires. It's the same exact process. So, All right, we're finishing up, tightening up the wires. We plugged in our plug. You hear the audible click when we plug it in, the rubber boot sealed. I'm just going to try to feed these wires in here, make it look neater, and then we will test it out. All right, now we're going to seal up our ends with the silicone. We're just going to use some clear GE silicone. Oh, if you guys haven't already, these airtight things for silicone, love these things. Makes our silicone last longer. Our ends don't get plugged. I mean, I'll leave links to this stuff down below for you guys. They might be affiliate links. They help the channel out. Appreciate that. But make sure stuff lasts longer. We're just going to put this in here. We're going to put a dab in each end to lock that in. That way, if you're when you're traveling down the road, it doesn't want to work itself out. So that's all we're going to do over here. Just a dab at each end. If you did put that lube in there, make sure you clean that out first. You can see right there. If you guys can see it, we got silicone in there. That'll dry and stop that from moving. We're going to do that to both ends. And then uh, 
We're going to turn it on and see if it works. Actually, we know it does because we wanted to button everything up. But for you guys, we're going to show you that it works. All right, guys. Moment of truth here. We're going to have these. Have him turn it on. Go ahead, guy. Look at that. Look at a blue tin off of the vinyl. But nice LED. These will look good at night. They don't look like much here. But at night, they're going to be way better than that blue light. So we'll show you guys at night. We'll give you a, a nighttime shot. What it's going to look like down on the ground here. You can see. You can't see nothing now, but at night it'll light all this up. But we're going to go on to this last one. You can see the blue, so you can compare them. I mean, the blue's cool and all, but at night it's, it's just not bright if you're trying to come in at night compared to the whites, what the white's going to be. So we're going to get started on this side, get this one done, and then we'll show you guys a night shot. All right, you've seen this first one we did. We completed the second one over here. It looks awesome. We got our ends all nice and done. Silicone. So it's looking good. We'll come back tonight, get you guys a shot of how nice it's going to light up the area. But it looks really good right now. Way better than those blue ones. Those blue ones are still on the front of the rig, but that doesn't matter that much. We're not going to change those out. Just these ones help to the patio area. The dog likes it. So it's all looking good. All right, guys, we're back over here at night to show you guys what this looks like. We got the moon kind of there. I'll try to aim it. Go ahead. Damn. Much brighter. Look at this. Lights up the whole area way better than that blue light. You can see the other one down here on this slide. Looks really good. So definitely worth the work there. Quick job. Well, as you can see, day and night difference, no pun intended. It looks awesome from the blue to the white. The blue, like I said, is like more like mood lighting, not really for lighting up your area. But it was a quick, easy job to do before dinner. And uh, something you guys can do pretty quick and easy. We'll leave links to all this stuff like the lights, the torch, all that stuff you might need for the job if you haven't got it already. Uh, they make the job that much simpler. They probably are affiliate links. They help support the channel. It doesn't affect you guys at all. Just click the link and help support our channel. We appreciate that, guys. Um, until next time, we want to thank you guys for watching. Until then, try something new.